Hello students. So today we have a literature lesson lined up for you. That is chapter number twelve, the girl who hated books. So students, there was a girl who hated reading books. Let's read the story of that girl. So the name of the girl was Mina. She hated to read and hated books. They are always in the way. Mina's house was full of books. They were everywhere, and not just on bookshelves and beside tables, where books usually are, but in all sorts of places where books usually are not. Her parents love to read books. They keep bringing home more books. Whenever they get time, they just read books. They read at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mina, on the other hand, hated books. Mina had a cat named Max. Max hated books as much as Mina. Long ago, when Max was a little kitten, a thick atlas had fallen on his tail. So Max stays on the top of the books rather than below them. One morning, Mina went to the kitchen to get breakfast for herself and Max. Max, she called. Breakfast is ready, but Max did not come. She called again. Max, breakfast is ready. He still did not did not come. Where could he be? She wondered. She looked everywhere, but she did not find Max. Can you guess where he could be? Suddenly, she heard a loud meow. She ran into the dining room, and there he was, stuck on the top of the tallest stack of books in the house. So it was made up of uh, all the books her parents kept buying her, and she kept refusing to read. So there were big shiny picture books, alphabet books, nursery rhymes, fairy tales, and adventure stories. So they were all covered in dust. So don't worry, don't worry, Max. I'll save you," said Mina. She stood on a stool uh, and stretched forward. Suddenly, her foot slipped, and she lost her balance. and started to slide crash the books were flying they fell everywhere as they fell strange things began to happen people and animals started falling out of the pages and rolling on the ground there were prince and princesses fairies and frogs and a wolf there were elephants emperors emus and elves and an assortment of monkeys and rabbits tangled up in themselves mina said there in the middle of it all too surprised to move by uh, by now she couldn't recognize the dining room at all the elephants was The elephant was balancing on a coffee table, juggling the good china plates. The monkeys had torn down the curtains and were using them as capes, and the rabbits were nibbling on the table legs. Stop! Mina shouted. Go back! But no one heard her speak. She grabbed the nearest rabbit. and try to stuff him into a cookbook but that scared him so much he moved quickly and ran away she opened another book and a flock of birds flew out she she slammed it shut down slam means close something with a very loud noise this won't work said meena i don't know who goes in which book she thought for a minute Then she picked up the nearest book and began to read. 
Slowly, the creatures crept closer and closer to hear what happened next. Soon, they uh, they were all sitting in a circle around her. So, when Meena reached the top of the second page, the fairies in the cir uh, circle jumped up. That's us, they cried. That's our page. That's our book. Get in. So, they uh, jump out of the circle and dove into her lap and disappeared into the book. Meena clapped it shut before they could get out again. Then she picked up another story. One by one, she began reading all her books. One by one, the creatures found out where they belonged. When her parents came in the afternoon, they couldn't believe their eyes. Not because the whole room was in mess, because the curtains were gone, the dishes were broken and the table, table legs were chewed up, but because Meena was sitting in the middle of the room and she was reading a book. So students, I hope you all liked the story. Like Meena, you should all love to read the books. So keep reading and keep listening. Thank you students.